Today we're doing in Geometry, Chapter 1, uh, Lesson 7. It's called Transformations in a Coordinate Plane. Once again, a coordinate plane is something like this. It's fine. All right, coordinate plane, it's your y-axis, your x-axis. Y goes up and down, x goes side to side, okay? Now, first thing we're going to talk about today is a transformation, okay? Transformation, just like a uh, movie Transformers, they change. Okay, transformation is any change in the size, shape, or position of a figure. Okay, and just if it moves, just slides from here to here, that is a change in its position. Therefore, it is a transformation. Okay, if it gets bigger or smaller, that's also transformation. And the shape, like if it turns to something like that, same thing, okay? That's just transformation, okay? That's pretty much any change is a transformation, okay? Now, the second thing, it's called a pre-image, okay? Pre means before. So it would be the square where it starts out, that's the pre-image. Say I just slide it down here. That's called the image, okay? We got the pre-image and the image. Image happens after. So before equals pre-image. And then the after, whatever happens afterwards, it's just the image. Okay? Good deal. So that is a pre-image and image. Okay, image is regular. Pre means before, so it's what happened before, what it was like before. Okay? Good deal. Now, let's look at some words that help us say what something does, what a shape does. Okay? Now, there are types of transformations. First thing is called a reflection. Okay? A lot of you heard this word. If you look in a pond, uh, some water, or you look in the mirror, what you see back is the reflection. Okay? Now, let's say I got this line right here. Say I want to reflect it across this line. I want to reflect this triangle. It would be like if I had a piece of paper and I folded it, it would be the shape that it makes over here. So it would be like this. Okay? Oh, that's probably too big. Okay, let's just pretend like it looks like this over here. All right, that's a reflection. It just means that if you folded it, they'll be perfectly on line with each other. That's a reflection, like in a mirror. Okay? So that's reflection. Looks the exact same. You can reflect it this way as well. That would be reflecting over the y-axis. This will be reflecting over the x-axis. Say we had this shape right here. Okay, that's a trapezoid. Say we reflected it, we would just say what it looked like over here. Okay, that's a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, reflection over the y-axis, x-axis. Good deal. Okay, so we go over reflection. Now, we need to know what a rotation is. Okay, a lot of people have heard the word rotation. That means you turn it, okay? You just rotate it some ways. Okay, say you got a... So we got a coordinate plane. Okay. Now, obviously we've got our x-axis and our y-axis. Okay. Say we've got a triangle here. All right. Everybody, you know, hopefully at this point, the quadrants are that's the first quadrant, second, third, and fourth. Okay. Way to remember the quadrants is. Going first and fourth, it makes a C. Okay, so that's the way you can remember quadrants. It makes a C. Okay, so say we want to rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, just rotate it 90 degrees. We always go in the order of that C. Okay, so we're going to go from first to second. All right, want to rotate it 90 degrees? You would just turn it 90 degrees. Okay, so when you turn it, it's going to look something like this. Okay, a good way to do this is draw, have the original on your piece of paper. Like, have it on your coordinate. Put your pencil at the origin, which is right here, 0, 0. Put your pencil right there, and then just turn the piece of paper. You're going to be able to see what it's going to look like at 90 degrees, because you just turn it for 90 degrees. You're going to be able to see what that shape looks like. If you want, count the coordinates, and then turn it back, and then draw that on there. Okay, that's the easy shortcut way of doing that. Okay? Now, if you want to go 180 degrees, that means you would turn it 
here, and then again. Okay, that means it's going to be completely on the opposite side. And it would look like this. Okay, because we've turned all the way around. If you get a piece of paper and turn it, that's a good example. I'm going to get a piece of paper so you can see that. Okay, here's the cheating way. I'm sorry if you're listening and you're from the Board of Education. It's a shortcut. Okay, say you've got your thing right here. Let's say we have a triangle, and it looks like this. Okay, now if we want to rotate that 90 degrees, all we do is we put our finger or our pencil right there at the middle, turn it one time. That is what our second picture is going to look like. Okay, that is what our image rotated 90 degrees is going to look like. Now if you want a way to find the coordinates, count. Okay, negative one, two. So it'll be negative one, two. All right, count them negative one, five. All right, pretend like that is our y-axis and that's our x-axis. And we can't always say it's 5, 3. Guess what? Turn it back and then plot those coordinates. Negative 1, 2. Negative 1, 5. 5, I'm sorry, that's negative 5. I apologize. Negative 5, 3. Draw it. That's what it looks like, okay? Now, don't tell anybody about that. I'm sorry, that's a secret. All right, but that's how you do rotations, okay? And if you want to do it 180, put it there, and you turn it completely around. That's what your image is going to look like. Pre-image, image, okay? That's after 180 degrees. Can you even see because my hand, sorry. Okay, we got pre-image, pre then the after, the image, okay? That's what it's going to look like. Okay, last thing is a translation, okay? Translation. That just means that you move it. Okay, you don't change the size or shape, you just kind of shift it over somewhere else. Okay, I know those aren't the same size or shape. Pretend they are. Use your imagination. Okay. Now, all I did was slide it over, translation. That's it. Okay. Uh, kind of think of a translator. Okay. What they do is they take one language and they just slide it over to another language. Yo, habla, blah, blah, blah. I don't know any other languages, so I can't do an example. Okay, but that's a translation. Now, the words we went over today, obviously we went over a uh, transformation. That's just a change, okay? Like transformers, it's a change, okay? Pre-image is our shape before it gets messed up, removed, or changed. Image is afterwards, okay? Now, the three that are probably not going to be as easy are reflection. Another word for that is flip, like you flip it over a line, okay? You switch it over. All right, then we did a rotation. Another word for that is turn. We just turned it somewhere on our coordinate, or on our graph, on our coordinate plane. And then we got translation. All right, and then our translation is just like sliding it. And that's it, the end.